Okay. Say it again. You can have this baby. I don't want you. You don't care about it? No, I don't. You can have it. You can have it. I assure you, you can have this baby. You can take it to the court. I don't care. You got you. Five months. You you got the video. Now we have one. Well, okay. So it's two things. So I'm trying to get them to the dad because I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I'm over it. I do everything by my king self, and I've been doing it for years since I was 15. I'm literally 27. I'm about to be 28 this year. Still nothing. Like, these niggas don't help. They don't send no Christmas cards, birthday gifts, presents. No, literally not a damn thing. And as well, okay, my oldest son is 11, and my daughter's is about to be three. So you mean to tell me out of three years and out of 11 years, y'all lazy ass niggas still ain't come up yet? Okay, well, y'all take the kids. And I'm going to worry about me, focus on school, and get my mother together because why do not? It's time for somebody else to, you know, step up and do something. I'm tired. Like, every time. Like, I said every time. I'm, I've been doing it by myself since I was 15. I'm done. I'm over it. I'm in two different colleges. I'm working. Um, I'm over. I'm overwhelmed. I was just, it's, I'm done. I really am. I'm just done. I just want to learn. I just want to be able to focus on me, my school, my careers, my jobs. I, I just want to focus on me. Anymore, I absolutely love and adore my kids. They're so beautiful and intelligent, but I don't want them. I'm try I've been trying literally for two, two, three months to give them to the dads. Literally nothing. Then you got one of the dads is like, oh, what the? Yo, I kid you not. I told this man, you, it's time for you to step up and do something like, you know, stepped up so then he's like oh it sounds like um i like i literally told him i said i'm just trying to better myself i said my career is low key on the is low key on the rise and sh this nigga gonna look and say my kids so you could go and chase your dreams because your dreams are starting to come true why would i want to sit there and let your dreams come true like for one that's the most hating ass shit, uh, uh, somebody could ever say literally anybody know who kendrell eaton is or he go by kike that's who I'm talking about. Y'all, this one, this one dumb the cure on this life because me dad. If I knew that's who the fur baby dad was, bitch, I would have. Hello, I would not have been talking to him because, bitch, you're you're mad that he's my baby dad. Okay, you can have him back. I never wanted the nigga to be my baby dad. I just got stuck and I couldn't abort them. So to help contact these goddamn dads, so they can come and get these kids. Because like I said, I'm done. So. You know, but if by five o'clock I cannot get the dads to man the fucking help, I'm not gonna lie. I'm going to drop them off at the fire station. I've already contacted the fire station because I didn't know how the whole shit work or whatever. Because I know I know you could drop off like newborn babies and shit and not get in trouble. Or I don't know if you get in trouble or not. I don't even give a f if I do get in trouble. I don't care. I'm done. So anyway, I act on it because I'm I'm tired of doing it by myself. Like literally, I got all the kids. 20 literally 24 to 7 i got 24 7 i don't have nobody to be watching them jfs keeps up my child care the dads don't help the the, the grandmas is dead beats as fuck and i can't wait to see this one bitch i can hit these i can be a dad or or i don't know if y'all want to take them because look y'all can get benefits and everything um honestly actually better yet my daughters might qualify for ssi but I'm not playing. I'm just like, I have to know you. I'm saying, if you feel like you want to take and foster my kids or something like that, I don't give a fuck. me openly asking for help. I need help. I got a lot of shit on right now. So <clears throat> with that being said, uh, if you want to openly foster my ch my children or whatever, the f I have to know you. you. Yes, we have to go through the whole little process or whatever. But I still want to see my kids. I still want to provide for my kids and everything. But yeah, no, if you want, like I said, if you want to foster them, you're more than welcome. Y'all will get benefits if you if you can file for food stamps. My daughter's qualify for SSI. Um, it's a couple different things. My son's dad is dead as, and he ain't coming back. In fact, I, st I still gotta go today and spit on that nigga's grave and send the video to his mama. Anyway, anyway, yeah, I gotta um after I do that. But my son's dad is dead. He's not coming back. So my son's dad. I mean, my son survive. Uh, he he, you know, he qualifies for uh survivors benefits or whatever the fuck child anything that i do with my life my career my business whatever rapper that you see me with whatever rapper flies with that has nothing to do with you the my boyfriend has nothing to do with you it don't matter none of that shit matters 
You should worry about you and what you, what you have to do for your kids. And actually, to be honest, you're literally, you're literally that stuck on a rapper. We're just looking. He's not even my boyfriend. So imagine when he is, you're going to be fucked sick. He's not my boyfriend. So now you just look dumb as my social media is, obviously. There's a conversation going around that you gave up your kid and then you went to shake your ass and talked about shaking your ass online. So clear, clear that up for me. Or is there something that you want to say to that? Is it true? Is that you gave your kids a CPS and you hit the streets? Like, what, what's really the tea on that? Okay, so obviously, yes, I did give my kids to CPS. Um, but it's not to go shake my ass. It's to, you know, give us a better future. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. If I do got to go shake my ass in Future's King of Diamonds Club and bring home maybe 20000 or something, best believe I'm going to take that 20000 and put that into a good business, and I'm going to triple that. And I'm going to triple that, what I just tripled, you know? Um, so, no, I, I ain't shake my ass. And, I mean, look, even if I did, I'm, I'm a grown-ass woman. And you know what? What if I'm out there shaking my ass because I can't deal with the fact that I just gave my only lifeline away? I only just I gave my only backbone away. Like I wake up and I wake up every day and go to sleep eating, not not eating, but, you know, <laughs> breathing children like, you know, they're always in the same vicinity. I've never been away from my kids except for when the same people who are saying they had my kids are the same ones who, who falsely have my kids taken away from me. I fought for a year and a half to get my kids back just for these people to send me back a letter saying, all the allegations that were against you were found unsubstantiated. So I'm at, I have five kids, five beautiful, very intelligent kids. And in the videos, you also said that the fathers don't help. No. Um, so a lot of the people, I'm, I'm actually so happy to be able to actually shed light on this. Um, so a lot of people, I've been a mom since I was 15. My oldest two kids actually came from mm. Yeah. And... Yes, a lot of people, some of the people who are closest to me know, of course, but my oldest two kids came from, so I struggled with all of that, and a lot of, I was secretly working two jobs while in going, while, you know, while doing high school, so on my 18th birthday, but guess what I did? I got me an apartment, I paid my my rent up for a year and a, uh, three months, and I, you damn right, I took my babies and I ran. What else was I going to do, sit here and keep dealing with that shit? No. 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 I'm not, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, so I did, I took my kids and I ran, um, then I met, <clears throat> I met my youngest son's dad and he, he, he was no better. He turned out to be just more of a monster. And a lot of people's like, oh, the way you talk about him, the, if people understood what this man did while he was alive, and I'm not even talking about the females and, you know, because I'm, I'm sorry, that's kind of just like what every man does. No man is made to be monogamous. So it's not the, it's not, it's the other stuff that followed behind closed doors. So a lot of people, he, he had a drug issue, you know, I couldn't deal with that. So a lot, around the time that he died, me and him, I was kind of like, I found my voice. I found my worth. Like I was kind of leaving him. It was like a real big mess. That's around the time that he died. Um, and he had also had overdosed three months prior to that when I was in uh, Florida. And I, you know, I got blamed for that. Yeah, so it's like a lot of people don't realize like a lot of the stuff that I'm dealing with, like his mom, people who seem to be so invested, they're not invested enough because they obviously didn't see my videos prior to that crying out for hours for help. Like they don't know I cried out for years for help. Like actually the cops actually called the dads and a lot of people are like, oh, the dads are, the dads keep trying to call her and trying to get them. The, they probably are now that it's viral, but right be literally 20, 30 minutes before I walked into CPS, they was telling the cops, no, we don't want them. Um, the, the twins that, oh, we don't want to meet my baby mom. We got kids on the way now. Da, 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 da. I'm like, why the fuck y'all having more kids? You're not even trying to take care of the ones you got now. Um, you know, who's, who's reached out? Mona Scott has reached out. Listen, I wanted to give you a platform where you could speak freely and not be judged. I wanted to be an open space for you here at Power, especially because we're in your hometown. But if people want to help you, if people want to donate, what do you need for your kids? How can people help you after seeing this video and make sure that your kids actually get back to you? Um, honestly, just like I, I've said, I've posted, um, you know, my cash out, my PayPal. Oh, y'all probably think I'm probably about to go live it up in Miami. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not to take that money. Um, I've actually had two businesses actually with the state um, that I've been trying to open. You know, one was my skincare business and the other one was my clothing line. Um, I'm going to take that. I'm going to 
invest that money into my business because at the end of the day all of this is coming back to my kids because when i leave this earth i'm trying to i'm trying to create generational wealth for, so they can be comfortable what it do everyday people man it's your boy pj today we back with another lit video we back in the confessional and yes we staying lit big dog man shout out to my everyday people who rock with me every day shout out to my homeboy lucky bills and deals to keep lit make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to this video let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section we got opulent sense okay yep get your uh three wick candles man order hit the link down below in the description get 10 percent off now let's get it i got a new one coming coming real soon check this out now <clears throat> now um now it is alleged it's going all over tiktok that the mom who dropped her five kids off to cps is on trial for unaliving her second baby daddy he say second baby daddy but i think they meant third baby daddy and which was the first video the first video i showed was the guy who they are saying is the first or, or that baby daddy that has been unalived and the mother of that guy is fighting for justice trying to fight for justice for her son okay now there's a lot of things to unpack in this situation see um she's over here worried about some rapper boyfriend and you got a bunch of deadbeat baby daddies at home and you like if a rapper gonna fly you out no you need somebody to fly all them kids out okay like uh don't waste money on a flight oh uh, have them buy your apartment you know what i'm saying have them help you out live comfortable how and and another thing just like we gonna talk about the dads i mean it's obviously clear that these dads weren't much of anything you know one of with, your, with the kid that's 11 years old and you telling me that you ain't done nothing for your kids with the way she's out here acting like this and a lot of the stuff after that first baby daddy she has fault too in it but the first baby daddy you probably wasn't doing much anyway then the second baby daddy who she said was off of SA, she was graped. Um, you know that that was shocking um, that she got graped. But uh, yeah, I could, yeah, yeah, that 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 was a sad situation. So I figured that would have been the baby father. But no, she said her third baby daddy, which is the youngest son. Uh, so the third baby daddy is the one who is unalived and they're blaming her for it so now i'm thinking there may be some truth to her being on trial for the unalive of her baby daddy um that day i mean there's so much other stuff that came up in here i'm, I'm gonna get to the interview part where she talked about she's gonna start her business now i think she said she got stuff with the state and i was like okay with the state what did she say i got a skincare line and uh uh some t-shirts i'm like baby no now i'm not gonna kill your dreams about having a t-shirt business or her skincare line but let's think reality if she would have said oh i want to start a janitorial business which i've seen uh successfully shout out to my player partner randy and his wife they had they have a, a cleaning business and they went started from doing one building i think they got a whole crew now you know um shout out to them um, if she would have stated like she was, because if you're going to do something for the state, you know, as an independent contractor um, and a black owned business and a business owned by black women, you can get government and state contracts. So whether you're supplying them papers and supplies or cleaning products or, um, you know, just anything, you can win the bid because you're a black woman, you're a, a black person like black owned minority owned business uh you're a small business under two million yeah you can get government contracts easy so focus on that instead of putting time into a t-shirt business that that won't go nowhere because somebody got to wear them t-shirts and then once they find out you the woman that gave up her kids to cps ain't nobody gonna i mean unless you make a sh sh uh, shirt to say i gave my kids up to cps or my game, my five keys. People might buy it because they ignorant. People might buy that ignorant stuff. I don't know, man. 
Let me know what y'all think about this situation in the comment section. Do you think she unalived her boyfriend? Because that's the word on the street. And word on the street, she going to trial for it. Everyday people like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to later. Peace.